Hello friends, welcome to part two of the ice and fire painting. So I had an accident. Um, after the painting was done, after I scraped all the sides, I moved this table a little bit and then came back to check on it after 10 minutes. The paint had moved towards one corner and completely ruined the composition. So I scraped off the paint and here I am trying for the second attempt. So this one, I'm going to change the composition a little bit and uh, I don't want to use the blow dryer this time. Um, I'm just going to blow it using my mouth. Um, just try and achieve the same thing. So like fire on this side and ice on that side and let's see how this one goes. So for the fire side, I have metallic red, um, cadmium orange hue, chrome yellow, gold, um, deco art gold, and cadmium red D. All these paints are mixed with two parts Floetrol and a little bit of water, and all of them have the same consistency. So let's layer these paints and we'll see how it goes. That's the metallic red. Now I have the cadmium orange hue. Then I have the chrome yellow. Um, this is completely transparent, so I've mixed it with a little bit of white in there. And now for the 24 karat gold from Deco Art, just a little bit of it. Okay. And lastly, the cadmium deep hue. Popping on the air bubbles. And let's start blowing this out. Okay, so I'm not liking two things here, but I'm not too sure if you wanna scrape it and redo it. So let me tell you what this is. I don't like the shape of this. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my finger and see if I can change that. Oh, worked out fine. The second thing is I don't like this petal. So I'm gonna scrape this part and see if, it, if I can make it work.
we go. Much better. Okay. I'm really liking this side. So I don't want to turn around the canvas. So I'm going to move you around and I'm going to go on the other side. <laughs> so here we go. For the eyes side, I have cobalt blue, turquoise, metallic blue, silver, and light blue permanent. Again, all these colors mixed with Floetrol uh, and water. So let's start with cobalt blue hue. Then I have the turquoise. So I want to add a little bit of white in here. I hope I don't forget that. So next is the metallic blue. Oh, I didn't realize I'm going to be having two metallics one after the other or maybe I should just add the white now hey improvise <laughs> so just a little bit of white on top okay then we have the silver And lastly, the light blue permanent. Okay. Let's pop all the air bubbles. Okay, let's blow it out. So I think there's a little bit of extra black in the middle than necessary and I think it's trying to push my blues back. So I'm going to try and remove the black paint and hopefully not ruin the composition. Let me bring you back onto this side and I'll show you the entire canvas now. Okay, 
I think I'm finally done. I'm gonna just creep off the sides. Fixing the edges took a little bit longer than I expected, but now I'm all done. Just scraping the extra paint off the sides. Okay, I think I'm ready to bring you down for a close-up. So here's the close-up. Before I go any more closer to the painting, I would like to thank everybody who's watching today for being here. Thank you so much for your support. And if you do like this video, please hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. Fire and ice. Do you agree with me? I hope so. Let's get closer and see each one of these. As usual, you can see the gold, 24 karat gold by Deco Art, creating those beautiful cells and giving that shimmer all throughout. It sure does look like fire to me. So that's the side of the fire. Let's get to the icy side now. Here we go. So we did add the silver here and you can see that shimmering through. Look at that. It's going to be amazing with the coat of resin on it. All those metallics is going to give that extra shimmer and it's going to be amazing. So that's it. This is how it looks wet and I hope to show you the dried results in a few weeks. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I will see you in my next video. Take care and happy pouring.